What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy here, Wesley from A Connection TV, the one channel on YouTube, where we actually adopt some lit connections despite our differences. And baby, 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 let me tell you, I am super excited. Why am I super excited? Because Black Panther, after its fourth weekend, will definitely break the billion dollar walls down, baby. That's right. Ryan Coogler, OMG, the first black director to get a film past a billion dollars with a primarily black cast of grade A actors, baby. I'm super excited. I was uber excited when the movie did over 200 million in its first weekend and I was just hoping and praying and wishing and, and hoping to the lords and the MCU gods of the world that Black Panther would definitely break a billion and it's going to do that. According to Forbes, Black Panther earned 9.9 .9 million dollars on his fourth Friday of release. That sets the stage for a 41.5 million fourth weekend gross, enough to top the box office for the fourth time in a row and snagged the third best fourth weekend gross ever behind The Force Awakens at $42 million in 2016 and Avatar at $50 million in 2010. The film has now earned $530.8 million domestic. That means it will pass Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, $532 million in 2016 to 2017, and The Dark Knight, $534 million in 2008 to become the seventh biggest unadjusted domestic grocer of all time. And once it passes The Dark Knight, it'll be the second biggest comic book superhero flick ever in North America behind only The Avengers with $623 million in 2012. And it honestly seems like it might just beat that because I'm sure it has another solid month left to be in theaters before The Avengers in April breaks the world down. Kevin Feige was also quoted stating that there is a Black Panther 2 in the works, although he did not give Entertainment Weekly much to go on. He pretty much stated that with every movie that they create, they always have a part two and a part three waiting to be made, contingent upon whether or not the first film does well. And we already know that Black Panther has surpassed the common words or the basic words of just doing well. It has done phenomenal. So Black Panther 2 is on its way. He also stated in the Entertainment Weekly that the popular characters Okoye and Shiri could definitely be in their own film because he would want to watch that himself. Now, he's not saying that they're going to get their own film, but he's saying that those characters will definitely be a part of the MCU going forward. Who do you guys want to see in Black Panther 2? Now, I know everybody wants to see Storm, but that's kind of impossible because the Disney Fox merger has not been finalized yet. So we aren't going to be able to get Storm. A lot of individuals are requesting that Namor is a part of Black Panther 2. Honestly, I really don't know what they're going to do. I just hope that they really have us delve deeper into Wakanda as a nation, as a country, as a home to really see what goes on in Wakanda. And I'm sure now that Wakanda has definitely let the cat out the bag, if you will, and told the world that they exist and that they're the most technologically advanced nation on the face of the earth they will definitely be seeing some problems in part two. We also got confirmation that Bucky will be codenamed White Wolf, which if you read the comics is a character that serves Wakanda and serves Black Panther. That would be interesting to have T'Challa and Bucky together as opposed to Captain America and Bucky. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below. Are you super excited at the fact that Black Panther by Monday will reach a billion dollars? And do you think it's going to surpass Iron Man 3 with 1.2 billion? Leave your comments below and let me know what you guys think. Love you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.